we're carrying those Existing into next year. That are we still started the projects this year, school but we're buses, carrying them over to next HVAC, year. So those repair, expenditures will actually um, happen these in things the have all been school year. planned for. Um, here, the impact fees, for, we think we're going to we get uh, about 1.1 $1. $1. Um, $1 million total. Um, we have 987000 we're in our impact fees. I'm guessing year, we'll get about 200000 more, year, which will give us a $1.1 million. Um, and that we're going to put towards the new school. school we talked about the new wing. Um, the that possibly will go towards that new wing. We think we're going to get, we have to get uh, as large as one point one. Um, total. Any questions? Um, we we have clear as mud. We're in our impact so fees. Yes, ma'am. I'm guessing yeah. we'll get about 200,000 more, which will give us a 1.1 million. Um, and that we're going to put towards the new school. We talked about the new wing. The impossibly will go towards that new wing. We think we're going to have to get as large as 1.1 million. Um, total. Any questions? Um, we have clear as mud. We're in our impact fees. Yes, ma'am. I'm guessing. conservative approach just in case we do need to spend the money for that wing it's it's listed if we don't that's that's great if we do we plan for that contingency and we'll have to get a loan hopefully for that amount so and do we think that amount will cover that full it's trying to it, it will be very close from from what i have understanding um from just in Greg Kelly, it will be very, very close. If it's not, it's listed. If it's not right on the money, it's real, real close from, from what he has said. Uh, Y'all, we're going to stop a minute. We're having some technical difficulty with live streaming. Um, we're going to give him just a second to work on it. I'm sorry. And if not, this Greg Kelly may have to advise it will be very I think that we would proceed with our meeting. We've done everything reasonable. We've followed our consistent practice in the past. We've had, as far as I know, like no interactions stated from the public uh, uh, historically in these meetings. Right? Yeah, we have some
just need those lottery numbers. All right, I've made a fun little, uh, what is this, bar graph. Um, and I actually put in the amounts of money here Any questions? because I couldn't read it, so I had put in the amounts of money. That just shows you the revenue from the state and local sources. Um, I believe the bottom is state and the top portion is local. Unfortunately, the blue on the blue, I can't really tell, which is what it looks like. The state is the big part, obviously, from our FEFP, and then the top part is what we collected locally, which would be um, impact fees and our taxes. And as you can see, it has gone up. Not a great amount, but um, it has gone up steadily over the years. The blue on the blue, I can't really tell, which is what it looks like. The state is the big part. This actually shows you the categoricals. And then the top part is what we collect. It's lottery and class size. 5.2 million is what we've been allotted for class size reduction. This year, the governor vetoed all of the lottery. So we have no discretionary lottery for this year. And it wasn't that much anyway. I mean, as you can see, it's not, it's not a whole heck of a lot. I mean, it helps. It, it helps, but it's not a whole heck of a lot. So um, he did away with that. What's his reasoning? I have no idea, but we will not have any lottery money this year. He put it all towards the teachers, I guess. Not, not, a, not a great amount, but at least it's not a decrease. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Just backing up a little bit. Isn't Rock Teacher still funded out of lottery dollars? I think so. Does that mean that there will be no Rock Teachers this year? I didn't, I did not see that. Um, it, uh, or but have they indicated where the source of funding would be if all the lottery money. dollars had been asked? Um, I did not get any information on why the lottery funds were discontinued, and I didn't read um, anywhere about Bright Futures and how they were going to fund that. Um, I, I, I think I brought in, I, I can look. And but am I, am I right? I mean, it has been funded out of, out of lottery, lottery funding, right? That's, that was the whole point of Bright right. Futures was being funded from so the So there will have to be so another to source. Some some kind of if adjustment. these kids are going to be entitled to buy futures, just yeah. But you know, two hundred and what was it, two hundred and eighty thousand from last year? Well, we know our bright futures kids probably got more than that. I mean, there were quite a few of them. So, um, if there is another source, I will need to find it. But I can look through my FEFP booklet okay. that I have and see if they put anything. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, this is just a quick comparison, uh, and just a little side note here. I patterned this budget presentation to my predecessor um, simply because that's what everybody was used to. I did change the colors, but I just, <coughs> bless you. Excuse me, thank you. But I did pattern it after what she had done um, just because I think that's what you all are used to and I can explain these numbers. It, it may look different in subsequent years, but I just want to let you know that it looks a little different, but it's some of the same information. Uh, this is unweighted FTE and weighted FTE. Um, I started in 1617. There's just the two lines showing weighted and unweighted. You can see that we dropped a little bit from last year, last year to this year. Um, that's what we're going off of. That's what we're being funded by in the 2021 school year are those FTE numbers. And yes, it's a little bit down, um, hopefully by the first survey in October, it will be okay. So the, the numbers that we're looking at right there, uh -huh. um, the weighted and the unweighted, those are current with what the legislature is funding for the coming school year. Yes, ma'am. Which will be 2020. 2020, 2021, yeah. These are the okay. beginning the beginning numbers for this year okay. um, based on last year and what they think our enrollment's going to be. Uh, how do they know? I yeah. Educated guess. I'm hoping that our numbers are going to be different. Obviously, the numbers from 1920 are the true counts, and then 2021 are their estimates okay. based on the figures that have been turned into them. Uh, it, down a little bit. I'm, I'm not too awfully worried about it. And these are just. Um, and here's the revenue per unweighted and weighted FTE. As you can see, they're giving us more 
per FTE. So our FTE count actually being lower is okay because they're giving us more per student. So, I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, that's up, what, $150 or so? Um, and that's, what, $200? Or, no, $115? So, um, it's more per student, less students, so it, it's, not, it's not awful. Any questions? And I'm right in your way, Alan. Sorry. And uh, here is a comparison of the fund balance um, at the end of each year. As you can see, our fund balance has gone up steadily. The fund balance, the 6.49 for the end of 1920, that is actually not the true balance because I have not finished the financial statements yet. We're not finished with the end of the year, all the revenues and expenditures. So that balance will probably change. Um, it probably won't change a whole heck of a lot. I don't believe it's going to go down, though, which is, which is good considering what we're going to face. Um, and this just shows you the change in fund balance. As you can see, a couple years we didn't go up very much. This 15, 16 looks like we lost a little bit, but we have steadily grown our fund balance, general fund. Um, this rollback rate, um, this has to do with taxes. I don't understand all the intricacies of this rollback rate. Um, 1920, um, we had a decrease. Oh, this should say decrease. That's my fault. Sorry. This should, both of these should say decrease. Uh, that's a misprint. Um, the taxes decreased in 1920. For 2021, there's going to be a slight increase. And as you can see, we have not had a tax increase since 2008-2009 tax year. It's not a whole heck of a lot, 0.39. What does that translate into dollars? Um, I don't know. Uh, not very much. Um, but our tax base has gone up here in Baker County. Homes are now worth more, um, which is a good thing. But, you know, when you have to pay taxes on it, you know, any increase is a bad Thing, but it's not a whole heck of a lot. Um, any questions, comments, anything? Do I need to go back to anything? Okay, that, that's all I had. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Transportation, student transportation. It's always underfunded, mm -hmm. always. Do you know just a guesstimation of what we may currently or last year contribute towards the funding? Of From general funds? Mm -hmm. um, probably half a million dollars. Okay. That's about Paula, what I, I was going to mention, too, with the state level, we are addressing that through DOE as well. Not sure what the ridership will look like in the fall. And so asking for them to hold it in abeyance like they're doing the FTE for the student right. count, uh, if there was a possibility that they could kind of hold us harmless there as well until we can kind of navigate through the first few months and see right. uh, what ridership looks like. Because yeah. we want to keep our, our drivers... Uh, driving and want to make sure that all of our routes are covered and mm -hmm. so uh, that is something that we're addressing with the state yeah. and Good. they have Good. assured us that they would be looking at that at yeah. the state level. Okay, thank you. I'd like to thank Terry. I know Terry's coming in uh, uh, on this. Is, I call it bull riding because it's uh, she's grabbed the bull by the sure. horns right off uh, you know, right off the bat during difficult times, but she's she's doing it with a lot of grace and it's working uh, very, very hard and we're enjoying working with her and um, I, uh, kudos to, to her. I know Marcel trained you well and uh, uh, as we move move forward, I think you're, you're just going to get more and more comfortable, but you're just doing just a great job and we're very, very, very thankful for your hard work and your dedication to, the, to our school district. So thank you, Terry. Thanks, Terry. I see you up here on weekends. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> She's living here now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I've been here. Thank you, Terry. You did a good job. I'm offline. Okay. We're 
we're off. We're offline. Yes. yes. So, Terry, I did see where I saw the three million in the fund balance <laughs> yeah. versus the six million. So, are you uh, saying that that difference is mostly so. attributed to retiring we tell him to hold off retirement the money? The use of some of the fund balance. Here from you anyway. The but fact that we're, we're dropping three million in the fund balance. Payroll. He's on the line. It is payroll. It's, and it's, it's all oh. salary and retirement. Oh, yeah. Retirement. And, um, if anybody's we're paying out um, yeah. accrued sick leave when people retire, it, it's all salaries because everybody wants a raise. You know, yeah, right. everybody gets their step, mm -hmm. and then. Um, well, and I you wonder what's going to happen with the governor's decision to pay starting teachers forty five thousand dollars. Okay, it's it's happening. It's happening. We have to figure out. Um, well, I have to figure out based on what our teacher roster is going to look.